Good morning. We are at uh, uh, day one of SHOT Show 22. We are at the tourist booth, and I am with George again this year. Uh, George is going to show us some of the new products that Taurus has in 2022, so I'm going to turn it over to George. All right, thank you, Gary. Thank you for stopping by, and welcome to SHOT Show. Uh, I just wanted to go over a little bit of our new products that we launched this year. Uh, starting off, we have our 327 revolvers. The 327 has been a very good round for self-defense. So we have two models of the 327 in the two-inch configuration as a concealed carry gun, as you'd expect, uh, in black and stainless steel. And we have our 605 as a, a defender model with night sights. The 605 is our 357 caliber. Uh, we already had that revolver as a two inch and now we decided to do the same thing as we did with the 856. The 856 we had elongated the, giving it one more inch to the barrel, uh, giving more accuracy, a little more spin on that bullet. And <clears throat> so we decided to do, we did that two years ago with our 856 line. So now with the 357 line, so we have four different configurations. We have the black, uh, which is a stainless steel with, a, with a, uh, a black finish. We have our stainless steel with hole grips. So both of these have the hole grips, the, the, rubberized, the rubberized hole grips and a Mary Glow night sights. And then we have our two-tone with G10 VZ grips also with the night sight already installed and then my favorite which is the tungsten Cerakote and Altamont wood grips and uh, as well with the Ameriglow sights so these are for the 357s uh, a nice size compact concealed concealable revolver and then our uh, our biggest launch I feel our GX4. You know, a lot of people are already familiar with the GX4. We launched it earlier this year, kind of the uh, beginning of summer. So we already have a couple of different configurations on the GX4. Tungsten, OD green. Uh, it escaped the color, but an FDE color. And then after a few months, we also launched our GX4 Toro version. So the Toro stands for the Toro's Optic Ready option. So we have the uh, the ability to to add your your red dot. Uh, <clears throat> we also have it on display the the 13 round extended magazine to give you that full grip. I I just love the GX4. It's been a great pistol. Uh, we have it's been a great pistol to to uh, <clears throat> to conceal. That's been my concealed carry after we launched it. So, and so, so far, you know, very positive feedback, very, uh, uh, our customer base, we, we're keeping track of, you know, what we see, what we hear, and it's been very positive so far. So, GX4 is doing great. Uh, on the G to, G series line, the G2C, G3C, we decided to expand that line a little bit more as well. And we have our G3X, in which we'll show you right now. So, some people when we launched the, the G3C or the G3 and the G3C, some people here at the show and NRA show, uh, customers asked if they could interchange the, the slides in between the two guns. And, you know, we saw, we saw that there was a small niche or it might be a big niche, but there, was, there were customers and, and uh, users Doing, wanting to do it both ways. So what we did with the G3X, let me show you right here. So the G3X is basically a full size grip. So you, you have the full purchase of the grip, but keeping the compact uh, 3.2 inch barrel as a smaller size. So specifically, if, if you want to have more control of your firearm uh, as a recoil, uh, you know, to control the recoil, but you appendix carry, which I feel like is a lot of the industry or a lot of the people that conceal carry, they, they, cons uh, they appendix carry. So you have more comfort on your appendix area to, to carry a shorter barrel, mm -hmm. but you, will, you still want to have that full 
grip to be able to manage the recoil. Sure. So uh, another difference on this, so the G3X has the 15 round magazine, but another, another thing that we added or removed, I should say, is the manual safety. So the G3X does not have a manual safety as your concealed gun. You want to be ready uh, when you need to. So without, you know, those extra moving parts and pieces. So we decided to, to go ahead and make a new mold and remove the, the manual safety for the G3X. Uh, moving on to our next uh, product, I will pick this one up, which has a red dot already installed. Uh, <clears throat> also this year we launched our TX22 competition version. You know, most people are also already familiar with it as well. Uh, however, the difference in between the regular TX22 and the competition model is we went ahead and gave it a, a bow barrel, so a more competition grade barrel with a 5 inch barrel instead of the 4 inch and as well as still threaded, still a threaded barrel. And we decided to add, as, as we talked about this product and what would actually make sense, the reasoning uh, for it, we decided to, to mount the red dot, your optic, right on top of the barrel. So as your firearm is functioning and <clears throat> as your slide is reciprocating back and forth, you can keep your eye on the dot, you can keep your eye on the sight, on, the, on your target, without losing your sight uh, vision. So this allows you for faster follow-up shots. And as we all know, 22 LR is not the most clean That's true. <laughs> ammunition. So this also helps so no debris flies back into the optic, getting your optics dirty. So, you know, we've seen mixed uh, reviews of, you know, the, the sight being mounted on the middle of the gun but i wanted to specify or not specifically explain the reasoning for it you know we this allows you to to keep your eye on the site and keep your sights clean so no better way to uh to shoot you know competition guns without without those two things and then so that's the tx22 competition and this is basically our just our steel ready uh version with a, a tandem cross pro compensator and shooting this thing is a lot of fun How just, bad. just a lot of fun just shoots very flat and with the price of things right now it's just wonderful to be able to to practice and train uh with 22 lr and and go to the range and plink and so anyways this is it for for our shot show i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the show you know learn a lot about the firearm industry and and tourists specifically but right. welcome to shot and thanks for stopping by well thank you george and uh we'll have more coming from uh, shot show 2022 again this is gizzard gary and uh we're excited to see what else we have so thanks for joining us and uh we'll talk to you later